Bows are one of the most versatile type of weapons in Grounded, and the reason for that is because not only can you use them for combat, you can also use them to help you progress through the game by collecting specific resources and also just making some things specifically a little bit easier. So I, this is my new survival world that I started on my stream over on Twitch. Make sure you're following me over there if you want to catch my future live streams. And real quick, what I wanted to do was show you a couple of tricks that you might not be aware of with the bow. So first off, this is not going to be a trick. This is just something that in general, bows make combat super easy. As you can see, we got a crit there. So this is where I decided to build my new house. And it's over on the eastern side of the map. And what I have over here is I have a ton of larvae. So the larvae just spawn in here. And what I found was using the bow allows me to basically just wipe these guys out pretty quickly. So I've been using the crossbow for this. Once I was able to craft the crossbow, I just started using it. Because these guys seem to respawn almost every day. And I basically can't even walk out my front door without having to deal with them. So... The bow just makes combat super easy, as you're aware. You can tease many enemies with it. So aside from that, it also has a lot of other uses. The first one is going to be that you can actually shoot down dew drops from the grass blades that, up here. So of course, you're probably aware, or maybe you're not. You can chop down the grass blade, or you can actually hit it, and the dew drops will fall. But if there's a dew drop you can't reach, and you don't want to waste the durability on your axe or trying to figure out which which grass blade to chop down, or maybe you get unlucky and it rolls down and goes into water, you can just shoot the the do drop right there like that, get your water, and you'll get your arrow back. That's super useful if you're looking for something to drink, especially early in the morning when the dew's around. And of course, you can also use it for shooting down the aphids. That's not a trick because you probably know that, but especially over here on by aphid island, these little guys like to run up the grass blades and they end up getting up on top of there and trying to figure out which one they're on is usually a pain. So you can shoot them. The only thing you have to be careful with is trying to make sure that you don't end up hitting them and they fall on top of something else because then they'll get stuck up there. So next up, let's head over to the hedge for another trick. This one you might be familiar with, but there's a chance some of you aren't, so I'm going to share that. So as we make our way over to the hedge, one thing I wanted to share while I was on my way over here, because I just ran past a couple of them. When dealing with pesky flying insects like mosquitoes, the ones that will literally chase you, uh, which seems like an, an endless journey, although they are a little bit better now in this most recent update, If what ends up happening is a lot of times when they attack you, they will fly up in the air and you won't be able to reach them. So a Good tip for that is basically to use a bow and hide underneath of a leaf or something where they can't get away. Shoot them down and then they'll come down and then you can use your melee weapons against them. Same thing with bees. If you shoot a bee in the eye with a crossbow specifically, if it's high enough level, you can actually one-shot it. And the also red ants and black ants are, are very weak if you shoot them in the eye. That's their weak point. So if you shoot them in the eye with a bow, you'll end up doing a lot of damage to them. So we are over here by the hedge. Instead of going, walking around and trying to knock down all of the berries that are up here, as you can see, many of them are in kind of spots where you can't reach. You can just use your bow shoot it down i'd recommend using basic arrows just because you don't want to waste like your feather splinter or any of your specialty arrows on them so basic arrows are pretty cheap to craft and it'll just make collecting these berries super easy in case you need berry leather or you're just trying to make smoothies or whatever you're trying to do with the berries so now let's head over back over to this water over here to share the third and final trick this is one that i recently discovered and i think i'm gonna go on a limb and say that I don't think most people know about this because I've never seen anybody talking about it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been using this for a little bit, like maybe the last couple weeks, especially on stream with basically just hunting the underwater enemies. And that's that you can actually use a bow in the water when you're fighting underwater creatures. Now, it'd be cool if they added a harpoon, but there's not a harpoon in the game. But what you can basically do is there's one of two ways of doing this. So we're just going to look for some water fleas down here because there's usually a bunch of water fleas. I just saw someone I went past here a minute ago. And what we're going to do is we're just going to basically bait them to the top and then use our bow to kill them. And you can do that one of two ways. You can either stand on something. So like I could stand on the soda can or on a clover and do it. Or you can just pop out of the water and shoot them. And here we go. We got a couple water fleas. So these guys, if you don't have a dagger or a spear, you might be thinking, wow, how am I supposed to kill them? Especially if you're trying to hunt them for gold cards or you just need some quick food. And what you can do is actually just sit here and basically bait them to the top. So we got this guy over here. We're going to get his attention. We're going to get his attention. He's only got one eye, so I guess he can't see us very well. And we're going to make our way to the top. Now we got two of them. That's pretty cool. So we're going to lure them up to the top here. And as you can see, once they get close enough to the top, you can just shoot them with your bow. Now, I use the crossbow. I'm not sure how well the insect bow works, but the crossbow works super well. It one-shots them, I'm pretty sure, even at, like, level zero. These guys have, like, no HP. You can kill them in basically one shot with the bow. But that's going to give you basically easy pickings for water flea meat, for the tadpoles over by the koi pond because you can get them, you can lure them out from under the the lily pads or if you stand right in the right spot on the lily pads, you can get them. If you can find some water boatmen up at the top, you can use them on them. I've even, used, I've even used it, especially in this new world, 
when I didn't have like the greatest gear, I used it for luring up the diving bell spiders to the top of the water so I could kill a couple of them to get their parts too. So those are the three tips just to go back over them once again really quickly. You can shoot down dew drops using your bow from the grass blades. That way you can control where they go. They'll go right down on top of you and you'll, it'll be much easier for you to be able to collect them and the arrow should drop straight down with it as well. You can shoot berries down from the bushes. Obviously the hedge has them and then up here in the upper right corner of the map, they did add, I think there's like three of them up here now, up in this upper garden area that, now I, like, I wouldn't recommend counting on those just yet because it looks like it's still a work in progress. There are maybe like three or four berries in each one of those bushes, but some of them right now get stuck so they don't fall all the way down like most of these do. But you can certainly use that as a safe place to farm them right now before the 1.0 update. And then last but not least, of course, was uh, farming water creatures using a crossbow. I'm sure the insect bow works, or works as well, but the crossbow just does more damage. So it's much more likely you're gonna one-shot them. So anyway, let me know if you have any other bow tricks in the comments down below. If you want to see me testing ideas for future videos, follow me over on Twitch to catch my live streams by clicking the purple heart on the screen right now. Thank you for watching, and here's another video you might enjoy.